All right, guys. Uh, so if you, you read the title and the note that we had in Beyond the Whiteboard, uh, so this is kind of our explanation video. I don't know. Did you put anything in the notes? I no. didn't see anything. Yeah, I'm going so to. What? Oh, <coughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <coughs> this is going to be a long one. Here we go. Let's. let's Holy we shit. We can do this. All right. Welcome, everyone, to the CrossFit West Wahoo podcast. And uh, so the big news is I'm selling the gym. The bigger news, you are buying it. Yes. There you go. So this is Victoria, for those of you that don't know her. Hello. Which would be weird if you don't. But uh, <laughs> yeah, exciting. Kind of crazy, actually. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Yes. So I guess what? It's been a couple weeks since you told the coaches. Yep. And so my original plan was uh, Murph, was, which was yesterday, was actually going to be the last workout at CrossFit West Oahu. And Hence the shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one that owns the shirt. <laughs> uh, and it says the last wad. Um, and I was going to close and sell everything this month. That was the original plan. And when I told Victoria and the other coaches. Yep. And then I was pretty much, I mean, of course, I was very sad. And I didn't want to see our gym to go. And... Um, it's kind of been a little a dream of mine to own a gym and also cool. add some like health and wellness. So I'm a nurse practitioner as well. So I do want to incorporate some um, preventative health and CrossFit and exercise and all of that into that into this. So this has been kind of a dream, but That's at this cool. I didn't you know obviously want it to happen like this, but I didn't want our gym to go. And I think yeah. probably like a lot of people. They don't want to see their gym to go. We have a community yep. here. Usually that's the biggest thing. People are like, oh, no. What am I going to do? Yeah. So they don't have to do anything. They still come here. Yeah, exactly. Which is great. Exactly. Good for you. Good for them. That. So I do. Um, I have two business partners as well. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're actually really awesome. So I work with. Um, so the, fir- the the guy, is his name is Travis and his wife, Nikki. Um, so I work with Nikki. She's a psychologist at the Hawaii Comp. So she has her own um, business outside of the comp as well doing oh, wow. um yeah, it's called Emula Health Group. So oh, okay. they own that together. And then um, he is actually, um, <coughs> he's been a mayhem athlete. So he goes like the oh. training with Rich programs. So oh, he okay. actually met Rich a long time ago and has been pretty much like, he actually has, he's the one that had his wedding at Mayhem. Oh, get out of here. That, um, Travis Michelle went to. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Coach mom. Coach mom, yep. In the know. Yep. So that's so that's. I them. have socks from that wedding. Okay. Well, there you go. And I think You're connected. T-shirt. Yes. So um, they're like big fans of, oh, that's you know, huge. yeah, so yeah, those are, I mean, the programs will be a little bit different. The coaches obviously are going to be different. Probably going to add some coaches because I can't do it all. I don't know how nope. you did it. Um, Poorly. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, and Travis, he is a, so you said he's a mayhem athlete and how long, what, he's a level two? He is. I, think he said, I, I, I believe so. No? I don't know. I think so. Good question. I thought that's what he said, but I could be wrong. He might be. Yeah, but he's, but he's been, been, doing been doing CrossFit doing... since 2014. Actually, yep. he started the same month. Um, he has actually oh, wow. a really cool story. So he was, he's a recovering um, alcoholic and oh, okay. started cool. um, doing CrossFit in 2014, kind of went back and forth, and then has been um, just like – and I think the biggest thing with CrossFit is just kind of help him, you know, recover. And the long-term goal eventually would also to bring – to have a program to help people who are uh, recovering from alcohol and substance abuse and using CrossFit as part of their treatment. That'd be good. So I might be in that program in the future. <laughs> well, that's like the like long-term, yeah. How long have you been doing CrossFit? Since 2014. 2014, you started where? I started in California. So actually, I had a group on for a week. And oh, then a group on. A group on. Yep. I Hate walked Groupon in. people, by the way. Don't, well, that's like for a money thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so came in, loved it, and then so I started in Sherman Oaks, California, and then Santa Monica, and then I came out here. You were the first gym that I tried nice. uh, five years ago when I moved out. Five years you've been yep, here. Yep, wow. August 2017, and then yeah, came here and loved the community. So did I own the gym by then? Yeah, I did. You I did. just got it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we cool. went across the street. Yep. No doubt. Okay, cool. And let's see. And then you're a nurse practitioner. You said that. Yep. Uh, how long have you been doing that? Oh, wow. Three Since years. 2016. Okay. So how many years is that for? What year are we in? So six, six. years, I guess. Six years. Being across, yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and you work in where? I work in Waianae. So okay. I work at the Waianae Coast Comprehensive Health Center. So I do primary care okay. there three times a week. And how is this going to, you mentioned it fitting in with that. What yeah. is What is the, let's see, what is your ultimate goal for this gym? To incorporate health and wellness in addition to what we do here in the gym. So coming into the gym is just what percentage of health, right? Yep. I mean, whatever, whatever happened, we're here, how, how, you know, yeah, yeah. it's, yeah. 
a big part of it is like, yeah, you come to the gym, but what do you do outside of the gym? So yeah. what's your diet like? What's the your sleep like? Of the time. Exactly. All these different things. And then, um, so right now I'm also doing a fellowship with Wild Health, um, which is a company that does like genetics based medicine. And is this part of the CrossFit Precision Care? Yes. So, so those of you that don't know, go to CrossFit.com, check out CrossFit Precision Care. Yep. There you go. Yeah. So basically they're partnering with a company called Wild Health to incorporate uh, genetics based uh, medicine. So for example, like if you wanted to know how fast of a recoverer you are, or are Pretty you fast? <laughs> <laughs> or Ooh. if you have that like marathon gene, right? I do. Oh yeah. Like your sister actually, right? Fuck that girl. <laughs> she doesn't have it actually. What? Well, she has a VO2 max. Oh, okay. Gene. Well, whatever. She has yeah. some gene, but you know, ba or if like keto is really My good for you, right? Yeah. Oh, really? That's yeah. So it'll tell you all these different things about your genetics and what's the best diet, what's the best recovery, how you should, how many days a week you should probably work out. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I'm doing that fellowship now. So eventually so I'd science. like to off science. Sci it's science, people. It is. You, Major it's science. way above your head. <laughs> it's science. You, I've seen you try to add two 15-pound plates in the gym. You don't understand it. Just no. go with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. There you go. Don't insult the Sorry, people. Sorry. I'm not. Okay? I'm, just, like, I I'm just, yes, got it. Anyways, tip. so. Here's a tip. When you own a gym, <laughs> don't insult everybody. But you do it all the time, actually. And yeah, you are that, very moody. But I'm an asshole. So yes, there's that. That is correct. That's I don't okay. think I'm an asshole. No. I'm nice. You're pleasant. Pleasant. Pleasant Ish. is a nice word. Pleasant. Yes. So I would like to bring that to the gym eventually. Um, Pleasantry? Or? Pleasantry. Oh, the precision health. The precision right. health. Yes. That's good. Uh, maybe some mental health. So having some therapists. <sighs> um, maybe some things about like how, you know, why you're eating the way you do okay. and how we can help with that. Um, maybe offering some recovery stuff. Um, eventually doing um and like more nutrition and then some um like chronic pain as well would be a really another thing that we're thinking about doing and adding in right. so and this would be like in addition to crossfit at different times of the day is that what you're potentially yeah like exactly that's the biggest problem with owning a crossfit gym people is that there's a time frame of most of the day where nobody comes and that's right. between 9 30 in the morning roughly till three o'clock in the afternoon when everybody's at work so if you can figure out a way to get people in there uh, and make money at those times, then this becomes a really lucrative business. Yeah. I, See, think. I, would, I think it's a good idea. I mean, that's the it's the goal, and yep. little start with I you know I don't want to I want to make everything a smooth transition at first, yeah. and then add in more things and add it to membership deals. It doesn't have to be separate; it can be inclusive. So um, that's kind of cool. That's the goal. What do you uh, so let's talk about um, changes people are going to see. First change, I'm gone. First change, you're gone. <laughs> so the scariest change. And I had a hard time with it last week. I was. I was telling you. I wasn't here. Yeah. It was weird. It was, and it was just like a quiet week. And I think people yeah. were preparing for Murph. And yeah. so it was, it was definitely a little bit interesting. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I think first changes, um, obviously the programming is going to be different because uh, it's not your programming. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So thinking about doing um, what are you thinking about? mayhem oh, affiliate nice. programming. Okay, okay. So um, looking into that, they do offer some like endurance classes and some like more body weight options sometimes. So maybe incorporating like doing a class that maybe is not so exactly like, kind of like what you said, like CrossFit-y, but a little bit of like that methodology and like just kind of like a flush. Um, yep. Because doing CrossFit, you know, five days a week can get pretty, pretty intense. Yeah. And uh, so programming. By, cro by CrossFit, we mean Metcon every yes, single day. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. So uh, programming will be different, keeping uh, most of the equipment, um, just changing a few things here and there, but mm -hmm. pretty much keeping, you know, most of the equipment or like to keep that. Um, Any new stuff coming in or? I got some benches already. Benches? So nice. I got four new benches cool. coming in. Um, you're going to get a GHD machine. Oh, you are? Yes. Okay. Have that. So I get some drinks in here. Drinks, drinks and oh, snacks nice, and nice. stuff. So we'll sell. To, you're not allergic yeah. to stuff. So yeah, yeah, I actually yeah. want to sell shit. Exactly. Yeah. Sell some drinks, um, protein, things like that. So, okay. yeah. Cool. Yeah. You got to, you got to sell people, buy stuff from her people. We'll just stay first. Yeah. I stay, stay during the transition. Yeah. You got to give her, <laughs> give, even if you don't like Victoria, which, you know, I know a lot of us don't. So at least give her a, try, a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and then utilizing upstairs for i would like to do like a recovery station nice, and yeah. then have an office and do you know the other services that we were talking about so, yeah i mean keeping everything the same adding some classes changing class times a little bit just to tweak what okay. we need to do that's going to be another change and hopefully it's for the better um, i know we've talked about what would probably be a little bit of a better schedule yep. or just something for the time being but and then um, probably adding some open gym times as well oh nice okay. yeah maybe tuesdays and thursdays because those are the days I technically I work from home, so I will be maybe working here. from here, working from here, and then allowing the um, gym to be open a little bit. That's cool. So, so let's talk about changeover. So you're taking over when? July first. Yeah, in a month. But you're gonna coach until yep. July. Well, I guess July first is a Friday, so you're gonna coach then, and then the weekend, and then we have July fourth, which is Monday. We're gonna do a July fourth 
party on yes. Saturday or something no, like that? Monday. We'll yeah. do it on oh, Monday. Oh, yeah, right. when people are off work. Right. So we'll, yes. We'll do a workout in the morning just like we did yesterday. Exactly. And then we'll do a cookout or something. Right. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a little passing of the uh, baton here. All right. We'll cry a, a little bit. We'll I'll a, cry. We'll get a baton. Will you cry? I probably won't. I, you might. I might. So on July 4th, when we kind of do the transition, we'll be here. And we actually were thinking about doing um, like a Hawaiian blessing and just taking oh, over cool. and like okay. kind of sending yeah. you off a little bit in a nice way as well. Sending nice. you off. That yeah, sounds yeah. like, you yeah. know what I mean. Send you out to pasture. Yeah. <laughs> like a cow. Cow you are. Yeah. You're going to shoot me in the back later. <laughs> Old yeller style. Take him out back. Stop is sad. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Old Baldy. Um, yeah. uh, I'm sure everybody's going to have questions. Yes. Ho- we'll try to answer some of them today, but. Uh, we yeah. are going to have like a little. Want to do a live uh, Do we want to do a live Q&A? I mean, we've talked about mm-hmm. it. So. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Why not? We'll get two people. Yeah. We'll you guys right. can ask questions. Get, so one of you has to call in and ask a lot of questions. Is it a call in? No, it's not a call in. It's a type in. Yeah. 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 So we'll do that on YouTube on this channel. So make sure. You like and subscribe yes. to the channel. Mm-hmm. Hit the bell for notifications. Become a member. It's like two dollars a month. Go for it. Well, Anything else you think of? I don't know. Um, uh, are you keeping Echo bikes? Yes. Sorry, guys. I told her she should sell them. Just saying. You know, I, I said nobody would miss them. <laughs> no, we're keeping two. Definitely. Sad part is I'm taking one. That's how stupid I am. Okay. No. Yeah. No. Ugh. Yeah, we'll keep the Echo bikes. Gross. For sure. Gross. What else? And the rowers. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, everything will be. Uh, your, your equipment list seems pretty good, so. Yeah. And we will be selling some equipment, guys, uh, when in July. So whatever little, it's just a few things that we have tons of. Like, there's a million wall balls. There's, what else? A couple dumbbells yeah. and kettlebells. And then some random shit that probably nobody will want for their house. Yeah. So I'm, I'll some be, bars. I'll be maybe. contacting um, other gyms that might want a cargo net. Yep. Yeah, a lot. A so lot a lot of, of a lot of shit going on this month, people. Yeah. Um, and what? Uh, yeah. I don't know if you have uh, if you have any interest in uh, supporting, helping, coaching. I was gonna say, if there's anybody out there that's that's interested, been doing this for a while, and you're interested in being a coach, um, yep. now would be a good time. You can get in and uh, get a level one, and then kind of learn how to be a coach and yep. you know, get some experience. In, in a few six months or so, you can maybe be a coach here and. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. And there's a CrossFit Kids um, online. Are you going to do CrossFit Kids? Yes, I would oh, like to. People, bring that back. people have been asking about that a lot. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we'll do that. We'll it's add that class. in. We'll have a little, I'm like a class that's not, like I said, CrossFit, you know, met Connie, but more of a like a light body weight endurance yep. ca- type of class. So we'll probably add that in. Cool. Yeah. Maybe um, if people, more, if people are interested, um, so some a little strength different training. Offerings. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So good it'll be good. It'll be exciting. But. Definitely going to be missed. Lots of changes. Summer's coming up. Yep. So. Don't forget to get in on the Summer Slam next month. Oh, yeah. Are you going to do it? Uh, okay. No. No. I've retired from local competition. And now I've retired. What about Cupids? What if we bring Cupids? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. should do Cupids. No, no. I'm saying you should do Cupids. Yeah. I can help you do that, probably. No, I mean, like, you you compete, too. Oh, me do Cupids. Oh, oh, or, we oh, can, oh. or you can help me. Oh, I I'll take get, both. I could, I could compete in that. Okay. You can help me, too. We got to bring oh, Cupids oh, back. I'll program it, and then I'll compete in it. <laughs> yeah, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Yep. Sounds good. So Saturday, uh, noon. Sure. Noon. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Noon Saturday. Noon. We'll go live on this YouTube channel. And so answer. like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and we're out. Yes. Peace.